Welcome back to another Soul Food Sunday video drop. Hey, you know what? This is the home of the YouTube virtual potluck brought to you by myself and Soul Food Cooking. Hey, listen, two channels bringing, you know, what we think, you know, a good representation of uh, soul food. You know what? I don't even know what they doing. So listen, after the end of this video, we got to go by and take a look at what they doing. Hey, listen, I got to tell you this. I say it every week. You never know. We might end up making the same thing. But whatever it is, I love their videos. They awesome. We got to go by and check them out as soon as we get through watching this. Now, let's go ahead and just address the elephant in the room. Last week, I announced that it's going to be a giveaway. That's right. This is the week right here. All you got to do is you got to be subscribed to both channels. Real easy, right? Then you got to leave a comment down in the comment section below, you know, saying whatever. Now, you see these three options right here? You could just pick one of those. You could put that in your comment. That'll make it even easier. You know, uh, just say, hey, you want to be in, whatever you want to say, and then, you know, tell me what you want to pick and uh, what you picked, and then we go from there. You know what? Listen, I'm going to go ahead and pick the winner Wednesday. That's this Wednesday, and I'm going to do it live. You know, I'm going to do it. Uh, I don't know the time. I'm going to put something in my community tab. I'll do it tomorrow when I look at my schedule from work, and then we'll figure it out. But listen, it's going to go down. It's going down live. I'll let you know. And please, keep it down. I'm trying to keep it to, like, people, like, in the uh, U.S. You know what? And that's only for shipping uh, reasons only. Listen, eventually, we're going to have something where we can ship it all over the world. But right now, it's just U.S., you know, contestants only. I'm going to go ahead and break right into this. So let's get it. Now let's go over some of the ingredients. We got cornstarch, which is two teaspoons, and we got lemon juice, which is one tablespoon. And those of you guys that are new to my channel, you notice that every time I pick up an ingredient, you'll see the name of it along with the uh, the quantity. And also, if you look down in the description box below, I put a printable copy down there for the ingredients, you know, with the list and the uh, quantities there also. So moving along, look, we got vanilla extract, one teaspoon, you know, Listen, super simple. And this right here is just for our filling. Don't forget. Now listen, I'm in Texas and they say everything is bigger in Texas, but check this out right here. Look how big these peaches are. Huge. And got these at the local H-E-B grocery store out here. Hey, listen, they're going to be greatly missed when I go home. All right. And this right here is my eight quart, you know, pot. Listen, I'm going to show you guys a pro tip on how to uh, peel those peaches. You know what? We're going to put water in that. We're going to boil it. And this right here is what we're going to bake it in. That's my uh, 13 by nine, you know, glass Pyrex, you know, uh, baking dish. So and it came with a lid hey those are cool too then you got to have a bowl listen because we're gonna put all those ingredients you see right there into that bowl now get your water in your pot get it boiling now listen the recipe says eight listen that's eight normal size peaches but as big as these peaches are right here you know what i just went ahead and just used five i knew that would just be enough so here's a pro tip put them in the hot boiling water you want to boil them for about 30 30 minutes uh, 30 seconds to one minute and then you want to cut that uh if you cut that little plus on the bottom of it, that's where you can start peeling it from. It makes it a little bit easier. Now, after sitting in that boiling water for about one minute, you want to go ahead and take them out. If you look at that bowl over there, my ice is melting because I didn't have a lot of ice, but you want to put them in ice cold water to stop them from cooking. You know what? Just you know what? Just super simple. Get them in the water so they'll stop, and then it comes. You know, then we got to go ahead and you know start peeling them. Now I'm gonna show you just how easy it is once you get them boiled. Now, go ahead and take them out of that cold water. You can see right there, look, everywhere I touch, it's starting to peel. And remember that little plus that we cut? Look how easy this is to peel. So listen, this part is self-explanatory. Go ahead, just peel it. And then when you're done, go ahead and get your knife. I know it looks like I'm cutting towards myself, but don't forget, peaches got that big giant, uh, that big giant seed. Just go ahead and cut it all the way around and then separate it. Then you wanna take the seed out and then you wanna cut them into slices. You know what, this part right here is just, Hey, this is for the people that have never, ever made it, you know, from scratch. Now you get to see just how easy it is. And there you go. That's five peaches, y'all. That's how big they were. Filled up that whole uh, glass bowl. Now, what we want to do is we moving on to the next thing. We want, listen, when I was looking at that and then looking at my ingredients, I went ahead and transferred them into that bigger bowl. So now we want to put all of our dry ingredients, all of our ingredients, period. We want to put them in super easy. Now, let me just say this. This is key. I'm making this and giving this to somebody who doesn't uh, like a lot of sweets, you know what I mean? So I reduced it. So when I said a quarter cup of uh, sugar and a quarter cup of the white sugar and the brown sugar, that's because I was cutting back. My suggestion would be when I make it, I use three quarters of a cup of each, but I would ask you guys just to go ahead and try it, with, you know, using a half a cup of each of the sugars. 
everything else stays the same now just go ahead and put everything in there get yourself a, uh, a spatula once you got you know all your ingredients in there then you just want to like roll it over and be delicate because you know what these are uh, peaches you don't want to like mush them you know so listen the sugars right here listen they pull all the juices out and this is not going to be as juicy as normal because i didn't put as much sugar as i normally do but this right here is still going to it still was you know amazing i gotta tell you that that's a spoiler alert i'm doing a voiceover i've already tasted it you know what i mean and uh, i set aside something for myself so anyway look then after that you want to transfer everything get all your uh your juice and everything you know transferred into your baking dish and then we're gonna put it in the uh, oven and check this out we're gonna put it in the oven at 425 degrees uncovered and we're gonna bake them for about i'm gonna say about 13 minutes and the reason i use that number you know what every oven is different this one here where i'm using at this uh, condo it cooks fast now let's move over to the cobbler topping this is what you got to have all of these ingredients right here you know what i just went ahead and separated it so everybody could just see it and then you got the baking powder okay one teaspoon and then after that you know what i like to use a whisk whisk you know what keep it old school y'all i know we're gonna use a fork hey now listen unsalted butter and like i said look i cut back on the sugar and i use unsalted butter you know what i mean but you can use regular butter also and just more sugar all right so now I put all your ingredients in here we're gonna whisk it whisk it together now once we got all our ingredients in the bowl we're gonna go ahead and uh whisk everything together and then when we get through whisking together we're gonna move over to the next step now remember the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below so as you can see you know blending it very well now we want to move over to our butter that's six uh tablespoons so what you want to do is i broke them all the way up into each tablespoon just go ahead and put them in there it kind of like got soft but i like to use it kind of sort of like how it comes out of the refrigerator not too hard but just a little bit of you know a little salt because listen we finna use our hands folks we finna you know mix this together there it is that big hand right there now we just finna get it and mix it with our dry ingredients and then when we're done it should look like that and then after that listen we want to get ourselves a quarter cup of water we want it to be boiling so i put it in the microwave and i boiled it this is what you're gonna see when it comes out there it is right there that's a quarter cup what you want to do is introduce that to your you know your butter and dry ingredient mix because listen we making this is our topping so you just want to go ahead and a little bit at a time hey listen folks it's always better to use a little bit than to put too much in there at the time you know what i mean so we just want to put a little bit at a time and you'll see how it's working as long as it's hot that's what you get right there look just keep working it around working it around working it around i would this probably would have been better if i would have had a uh, a metal uh, metal whisk but this was cool because even using this right here it's easier to get the dough out of the whisk so just keep moving it around moving it around and that's the consistency you want that's why i showed this so everybody can just see that's what you want to get right there look like just like some play-doh type you know material there you go so now take that after you come out of the oven look 13 minutes later this is what you got now just go ahead and break yourself some i made it sort of thick you guys can like make it flat however you want to do it don't forget when you put it back in the oven it's gonna rise it's gonna spread and you know go from there now if you look up at the top you see that bowl where that arrow is right there listen that's a sugar and cinnamon uh blend now when i bring it closer you'll get the chance to see what it is look one teaspoon of cinnamon three tablespoons of that white sugar once you mix it together that's all i did was just take my whisk and mix it mix it whisk it together now just sprinkle it you know right over the top you know this is where you're gonna get that little sweet you know it adds that little you know that that nice crunchy sweet texture to the top so go ahead and just sprinkle that all over you know however you would like to do it i try to keep it you know make it uniform you know real even and then we're gonna go into the oven now once you're done you know sprinkling your topping on top right there then you want to go in the oven listen we're gonna put it in there for either 25 minutes to 35 minutes and listen i do not cover it no covering it's up to you if you want to cover it but if you ask me i tell you do not cover it and then we you know we go from there and then when you're done that's what we get right there this is me putting it in knowing that it usually takes about 30 32 minutes and then you know it was a little dark you know but i can tell you this if i look at this right here you now watch how i hit it right there that right there is we that right there listen that's that's 100 of goodness right there there is hard for me to even can you guys hear it in my voice it's hard to even do this voiceover right now and there you have it that's a traditional peach cobbler and if you guys been watching me you know i like to have myself a tall ice cold glass of milk hey and with that being said 
you really know we got to have that scoop of that ice cream right there. Now, I'm being generous, but there you go, you guys. You know what? That's that peach cobbler. It's Soul Food Sunday. And you know what? I got to tell you guys, good luck. So tell me what you guys think about this one here. This is a more traditional, you know, like OG peach cobbler. Look, no bottom crust. The top is on the top. So this right here is just, you know, truly, you know, a traditional peach cobbler. Now, don't forget, leave a comment down below. You know what, you gotta let me know what you wanna get. We gonna pick the winner live and double your chances. Don't forget to go buy Soul Food Cooking. See what they doing, drop a comment over there. Make sure you, make sure you subscribe there also. So really you getting two chances to win two different uh, giveaways. Hey, with that being said, you know what, let me just go ahead and say this. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And all of you guys have been here before, you know how I'm going to end it. Hey, I'm out of here. Peace.